Hello and welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing how to save an image as a string in preferences and load it back. So first thing we need is the image picker plugin. I'll be providing the link to all plugins in the description. So let me import that, the image picker plugin. And we also need the .io package. Okay, now we are going to write a function to pick the image from the gallery. So pick image from gallery and pass in the image source. It can be gallery or a camera, whatever you want. The image picker is going to return a future file. Okay, so image file is equal to image picker dot pick image and pass in the source. Okay, now we will write a function to show the picked image uh, in the UI. So, widget image from gallery. So, that's going to return a future builder of type file and the future is the image file. So, when it is returned, this will be triggered. And I think snapshot file snapshot with the build context. Okay, so I'm going to check if the snapshot dot connection state is equal to connection state dot done. So if it is done, I'm going to check if there is something in the data. If there is nothing. We are going to return a text widget saying error. So otherwise, we know that there is something in the data. So image dot file and pass in the snapshot dot data. Okay. Next, we are going to check if there is some error. So if there is some error, we are going to return a X widget and say error picking image. Okay, align it to center. Okay, let me align the other one also to center. Okay, otherwise nothing has loaded till now. So we are going to say no image selected. Okay, so align this to center as well. Okay, now let's add the image to the main UI, the build method. Okay, now we need to invoke the pick image from gallery method, right? So let's add a icon button to the app bar. So I can start add and on press of the function, we'll call the pick image from gallery. Image source, let's set it to gallery. So run the app. I'm going to reload the app. Okay, select an image. Uh, okay, so the error here is uh, I forgot to call the set state on the image file. Okay, so there you go. Okay, the image is loaded now. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to save this in the preferences as a string. So let me write a utility function. And we are going to need the shared preferences plugin. Okay. Import the plugin. And we are going to need the material package because we are going to return image from here itself. Okay. And a key. So this is the key uh, with which uh, we are going to save the image in preferences. So image, save image to preferences method will save the image as a string into the preferences. So get the instance of shared preferences and call preferences dot set string. Pass in the key, keys image key and the value value. And the next method is to get the image string from preferences. So get image from preferences. So that's going to return the image string. So shared preferences dot 
get instance and call preferences dot get string and pass in the key okay now we need one method to convert the image to a base 64 string okay so pass in the bytes and this function the base 64 encode will convert the bytes to a string we need another function to convert the convert the string to image okay so image from base 64 string and pass in the string that's going to return an image and call base 64 decode then fit is box fit dot fill okay now we need to go back to a main file and call these functions uh, from there okay so import the utility and so when the image is returned we are going to call utility dot save image to preferences and convert that to a string okay now we have saved the image as a string right so uh, we need another method to load the image back from preferences so let's write a method load from load image from preferences and call utility dot get image from preferences that's going to return the image string so if it is null we are going to return otherwise uh, we need an image variable so image image from preferences so image from preferences is equal to utility dot image from base 64 string image okay so that's going to convert the string back to image now let's add one more button to the app bar to call this function all right if the image preferences image from preferences is null we are going to show an empty container otherwise show the image okay don't forget to call set state all right okay reload the app change the icon okay reload the app okay it's loading from the preferences okay okay let me reset the image when we click on the plus button okay that's working okay cool so that's how uh, we can save an image in preferences as a string and load it back so i'll be doing another video on how to save the image as a string in a SQLite database and load it back in a grid view so that's all in this video if you like the video please don't forget to like subscribe and share hit the bell icon for notifications thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye